We're all familiar with that scene. The spirit of the water is grasping Zhao and readying to take him into the spirit world as a result of him harming the moon spirit. But Zuko reaches out to grab his hand. Will he accept this saving offer? Well, no. While most would rather be saved by their enemy than perish in the fog of lost souls for all of their miserable non-aging lives, Zhao refused the offer. But why? You're watching Avatar Discussions, and today we're narrowing down exactly why Zhao wouldn't let Zuko save him. There are undoubtedly a number of possibilities, the most significant of which is being his excessive pride. His pride alone, as well as the fact, as noted in the comments, that he believed in the favor he received from the Fire Lord was sufficient. I also believe he was aware that if he hadn't been taken, he would die upon his return. Why would he have been killed, you ask? There's a few reasons. Let's look at his use of the Yuyan archers first. When he was first promoted, one of the first things he did was take command of these expert archers in order to hunt down and capture Aang. While Zhao was successful in capturing Aang, the fact that Aang escaped while under his supervision, the archers can be considered as a waste of resources and a failure in the eyes of the Fire Lord. The fact that the Blue Spirit slash Zuko infiltrated Zhao's fortifications, took down his guards without using firebending, freed Aang, and then they both escaped would have also been a massive failure on his record. And word would have gotten to the Fire Lord, who we know doesn't take too kindly to the failure of his troops. Add to that the fact that he failed to apprehend Zhang Zhang or his allies. Even if we knew Zhang Zhang was a master bender far superior to Zhao, more so when Zhao's rage flared, he was baited by Aang and he set fire to his own ships, which were vital resources for his goal. Then finally, there's the Northern Water Tribe Assault. Where he originally succeeded in killing the spirit, he eventually lost when Aang attacked and repelled the invading army. We know that the world is spiritual, and that many spirits are revered. But we have no idea how Ozai would have even reacted to the spirit's death and the fact that it would have thrown the universe out of balance for all life. Zhao had a long list of failures even without that. When he was seized by the water spirit, you could see in his eyes that he was about to touch Zuko's hand. But he didn't. It's as though he knew he'd die in any case. So... We knew that he was accepting of death. He was going to get it either way. But what about his pride? We see very well at the beginning of the series, leading up to his Agni Kai with Zuko, that Zhao is extremely prideful. He is always boasting about a promotion or some sort of win that he can hold over others' heads. Was his pride part of the reason? Was Zhao too proud to let the banished prince save him? Zhao refused to be looked down upon by someone, especially someone whom he deemed as lesser than himself. Taking pity from a banished prince was one of those things which he would just rather die. And let's not forget, Zhao technically didn't end up dying. He was taken to the fog of lost souls, where he was cursed to live forever slowly losing his mind. Talk about a punishment worse than death. That being said, these are really only the reasons we can think of why Zhao didn't let Zuko save him. Zhao really only has one personality. Arrogant and prideful. In the end, that was his demise. What do you think? Did Zhao refuse help because he knew he'd die either way, or was his pride on the line? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, stay, stay flaming. flaming.